42 Doug has refuted WAC 100's allegation that, after a confrontation over a dice game, Offset stole from him. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. WAC 100 made a statement earlier this year that caught people's interest. For the contentious music manager, who frequently uses his program to promote dubious and frequently disputed claims and remarks, that is nothing new. As a result, his most recent assertion that piqued fans' interest concerned 42 Doug, Offset, and Lil Baby. He recounted a story in which he said that Rug was robbed by former Migos musician Offset, after a violent argument broke out during a dice game. According to reports, this caused him and his quality control label partner Lil Baby to get into a fight. Baby stood up for his artist when he signed Doug to his label imprint in the beginning. 42 Doug is now asserting that the narrative as a whole is fake. He used Instagram to dispute WAC 100's account of events. Oh, go for my key. This the same thing I told WAC 100 you old lame turning these up. You old lame turning these niggas up. You know these niggas ain't stepping like that, nigga. And I was by myself with $100,000, Doug explained. He doesn't deny that the fight the story is centered around happened, though. Uh, they tried me, bro. Right or wrong, they tried me. They surrounded me, told me I ain't giving a rich nigga shit. Hey, we, my mama can die right now. Damn, watched it. Got in the middle of it. Stopped it. He said. It would have blazed that night. Over dice. That shit. Young turn, they can't wipe no bitch. If it wasn't for whack, that would have been in the mouth news that night. I told Doug, you all the way wrong. Wack 100 went on to describe how the two rappers would often lose thousands of dollars each time they played dice games. Did it like a gangster when Doug Pockets took his money and fired on Doug. Doug's desire to cease playing seemed to cause things to go left. According to Wack, Offset told the Detroit native, as long as it's my dice, you got to shoot. But Doug walked out of the studio, leading to a confrontation between the two. Did it like a gangster? What the yeah. is Whipping out. I grabbed 42 Doug, told his little homies, y'all put that up. He had his little goons when they wasn't budget. I said, Offset, you know there's gonna be hell to pay come the morning. We were at QC Studios. Wack claimed he was able to break up the altercation before it got out of hand, and that there may have been numerous casualties in a firefight. Right before Doug sparked, he wouldn't have been around for the sp Offset and some of his people would have been dead. QC Studios would have been under investigation. He said. Later, WAC 100 asserted that because 42 Doug was signed to Baby's 4PF imprint, this is how the whole beef started between Offset and Lil Baby. WAC 100 came under fire on Instagram from Boosie Badaz when the latter posted something implying that BG was a rat. Boosie responded by calling WAC a clown. He wasn't the only one, either, as other rappers and fans had harsh reactions to the charge. We are the exposures, Wack began in the caption. I'm a little sick right now, but the show must go on. At 1090 Jake MS and at Remo my war just on at new B Gollyhood. Me knowing you, you're already on the case. I woke it up now you research and narrate Merry Xmas to all and to all a good night from the hashtag exposures. In response to the post, Boosie commented, Dis he wasn't the only rapper to respond. The game also wrote, Exposers, with a thinking emoji. Many fans chimed in as well, with one writing, Bro it's crazy as hell a n can do 15 years and come out and still be called a rat n like whack weird f. Another added, The man did 13 years for a gun charge, I think he might be the worst rat in history. Cut the nonsense bruh. BG was recently released from prison, having received a 14-year sentence in 2012. He entered a guilty plea to one count of conspiracy to obstruct justice and two counts of handgun possession. Following his release, he collaborated on the Project Choppers and Bricks with Gucci Mane. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.